Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ashish Kulkarni. So in this video, I am going to talk about an issue that I faced while I was trying to install Magento on my local host. So I was trying to uh, install Magento. I wanted to start the installation. So of course, I went to uh, local host and the directory where I kept the Magento. Uh, but you know what happened? As soon as I go into Magento, I was facing issues. The error that I received is internal server error and I was not able to proceed ahead. I tried to find uh, reasons on the internet. There were a few but none of them helped me uh, to solve this issue. So that's why I decided to create this video and I hope this video helps you. So internal server error if you are facing the same issue while you are trying to install the Magento uh, I will let you know what needs to be done and then I will also walk you through the installation of the Magento. So few steps you need to take. So before I start uh, let me tell you I have installed VAMP64 uh, VAMP and using that I am going to install the Magento. So there are few steps that you need to take. So I have written the them down here and I will also be sharing this information in the text below the video so guys first thing you need to do is you have to edit the PHP dot INI file and then you have to go into your Apache configuration file and enable the particular module that you can see on your screen so let's start first PHP dot INI how to edit the PHP dot INI file so go to your BAMP I just click on the BAMP logo here then go to PHP you will see a php.ini file click on this file this file opens in your editor so in this file you have to make few changes what are those changes fine for this particular text so this is the maximum execution time you have to find it and change it change it to 1500 or 1800 initially this will be a two digit number you have to change it then you will also have to change the max input time again to 1500 you can also consider changing it to 1800 then you have to enable the C URL extension I'm just trying to be fast so that this video doesn't become uh, pretty lengthy so enable C URL extension how to do that again go to vamp click on the logo go to PHP and then here you will see PHP extensions here you have to look for PHP C URL if there is no check mark against it put a check mark ensure this is enabled now this is step A now the next step very cr critical so you have to look for this file the apache configuration file and you have to enable this particular uh, module in it so how to enable let's go ahead and check so again i'm going to find vamp icon click on it and then go to apache here you will see this file httpd.conf click on it again it opens in your Editor it can be notepad, dreamweaver, notepad++, it depends on what's your preferred uh, editor on the machine. You have to look for this particular text. So guys, uh, this text is also available for you to copy in the description part of this video. Copy this, go to your conf file, search for it. Click on find next and here it is. So you can see there is a hash icon. So, uh, sorry, hash symbol, not icon. So just delete it. The hash means this particular module is not enabled and it is commented out. Once it is done, you have to save the file. Save the file, close the editor. And now in order to make these changes to come into effect, you have to restart your map. So how to restart? Again, click on the WAMP icon and click on restart all services. The WAMP icon color changes from green to orange to red and then again green. So once it is again green, that means the server is ready. Okay, it has turned to green. Now I'm going to refresh, fingers crossed. I hope this works. Okay, yep, uh, it went to slash setup. So things are working guys. So this is how I solved my internal 500 error. So now the next step is I'm going to walk you through the actual installation of Magento version 2.2.4 on the local host 
so we are going to install magento on my local host so of course we have to agree and continue it will check if everything is in good shape if not it will ask you to fix it and then only will allow you to proceed so all green check marks nothing is wrong please ensure that you are uh, PHP version is 7.1.9 and not the 5 or 6 or anything any previous version of the PHP this is important guys so I will click on next okay so it is going to it's going to ask me the database details so database where it can install the uh, necessary of course the database tables so uh, I'm in my PHP admin I'm going to create a database called as Magento let me change the UTF I typically take UTF 8 bin I will click on create so this is the database that I have created name of the database is Magento so database server host yes it is going to be local host database username yes it is root it is going to be blank and oh database name is also Magento it is predefined here and coincidentally I chose the name Magento for the database so no need to edit here so table prefix I always insist you change the table prefix for security reasons so I'm going to do something like this and this is of course random guys you don't have to select like your first name last name or one two three something like that keep to something random that hackers won't be able to guess so I'm going to click on next okay so we have an errors the table uh, we have one error table prefix length cannot be more than five characters okay noted so I'm going to remove this part and this part enough click on next okay your store address yes this is going to be my store address and what needs to be my admin access on what location I need to access the backend so I'm going to change it to just the backend click on next you have to choose the time zone okay in the interest of time I am not going to change anything at this time I will change these settings later on let me go ahead click on next okay so admin account you have to create of course you have to create an admin account so I'm going to use Ashish963 as my username my email address will be chuck, chuck, chuck. I'm going to add ak at ashishkulkarani.net password click on next so guys please remember this is my local host so I can freely share my username the email that I'm going to use uh, but these are not definitely the usernames and email combination that I use on any of the live environment so please ensure these settings or this particular account section part remains confidential because using this anyone can access your store so you are ready yippee we are ready I'm going to click on install so it took me a lot of time to come to step, step number six because a lot of my time went into uh, researching why I am getting this internal server 500 error how to solve it literally I spent couple of days on this particular issue I was not able to find answer but when I combined information from multiple sources together I was able to crack this problem and hence I'm creating this video and I hope it helps